This right here is the best sunrise I've ever witnessed with my eyes. But now my eyes kind of burn because it's really bright. <laughs> So that was definitely like hands down the best sunrise I've ever seen. I actually saw like the sun coming out like on top of the horizon. But it was like super hard to get a good video because it's the sun, it's so bright. So I did the best that I could, but my time lapse could not focus on the actual sun. It's just too bright. So it is what it is, but we got up and we saw another sunrise and you're a trooper for being a good sport. Now we're gonna go home and we're gonna go to bed because I only got two hours of sleep so far and that is not enough to function. So I'll see you when we get up. Can you guys guess where I'm at right now? Just guess. Can you guess what store I'm going to? That's right, Giant Tiger. Because I love it and they have really good sales, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to get some groceries, so Hey guys, so I need a shower, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shower later and then I'll properly vlog. But I just wanted to show you what I was up to today. I'm going to watch a hundred vlogs. I've watched two so far. I have a lot to go. Um I never really realized how much a hundred was until I wrote it down. Like, I'm going to be at this for a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch till 32. And then uh, I'm going to go take a shower. And then I'll vlog with you guys. And then get through the rest of this. But wish me luck. And I'll also show a list of everything I watched. So, like, if you guys want to watch it, you can go watch it. Mom's Log 80. Subscribe. So I didn't get to shower yet. So I'm gross and I'm not dressed. So... So, but I just wanted to show you this slushy. See how dark it is? Normally, it's like really light. And what I really liked about them was that they weren't too sugary because they weren't mixed right. So now I guess they're putting more into it. And this is probably going to be my very last slushy ever because I don't like it anymore because now it's like too sweet and gross. But that's good because weight loss and healthy eating. Okay, so I spent the last like four and a half hours, like before I took a shower, watching vlogs. And I forgot how long it actually takes to watch 100 vlogs. I've done it before. It takes about 12 to 13 hours, depending on the size of the video that you're watching. Length of the video is what I'm trying to say. But I wrote down everything I watched. So, see if you see your channel. We got some Mom's Vlog 80, some... The Ant Life, Very Merry Vlogs, Life's a Beach, bunch of stuff. Do you see your channel? 35 vlogs. Now, I'm not going to have enough time to watch the rest today. I would have if I would have got up at like 8 o'clock this morning. But I woke up in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is the rest of the ones that I watched today, I'm going to write down. And then all day tomorrow, I'm going to finish. And then I'll show you guys the list again. And you can see if you're... If, blah, 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 because I can't speak. If you're on the list. Shauna and I are just chilling for a bit. And then we're going to go for our walk. I am not excited because my stomach hurts. But got to get it done. So I'm going to get it done either way. So, I'll see you then. So, I just put his harness on because I'm going to take him. <laughs> and Sean is going to take Malachi. But they're both flipping out because Malachi thinks we're not going to take him. And Zeke thinks it's probably a trick. Do you want to go for a walk? He's so excited. We're going for a walk? A walk? Can you say a walk? He's like, now, now, now. Malachi, be good. You guys excited? You're excited? Oh, oh so loud. Malachi was like, shut up. Come here. Malachi, come on, let's go. Are you ready, Zeke? Are you ready? Sit. Give me your paw. <laughs> So I'm just sitting in the car to vlog because it's quieter in here, but um, we only got to do half of our walk because Zeke was pulling and pulling and he was hurting me, so I just, I couldn't continue. 
and it really bothers me because I know that it's my fault that like I should have been training him since he was a little puppy and we did we we walked him when he was a puppy but not very often because we got him in the winter he's born in December we got him I think at the end of January yeah sometime at the end of January and we didn't walk him as much as we should have and we're paying the price for that now because whenever we try to walk him he weighs so much it hurts so much and it's just it makes me really upset because it, it hurts so much when I'm walking him and then like I think about like all the other things and basically what I want to say right now is if you do not have an animal and you're thinking of getting an animal really put a lot of thought into it because we didn't and I take the blame because I was the one who wanted both dogs Shauna said it was a bad idea and we got them anyway if I could go back in time I wouldn't have got them and that's the honest truth I do love them but I don't love to have them like I'd love them a lot more if they were somebody else's and this might come off as harsh or like really mean but I'm just being 100% real 100% honest I regret my dogs and my cat so much I think that there's animal people and then there's like people who like animals but shouldn't have certain animals like I don't know if what I'm saying is really making any sense but um, Miley my grandparents dog was actually my dog and I lived with my grandparents all throughout high school when we got her and stuff but when I moved out I wasn't allowed to take her because they fell in love with her if I had a dog like her it would be totally different and I think that certain dogs are good with certain people and I'm not a type of person who can handle a dog like Malachi or Zeke. And I know that now, but it's a little too late. So I feel like crap thinking about it that way, but it it's true. Like, I really don't enjoy having them. I know that I'm just going on like a hateful rant about my animals, but it's true. Like, if you don't want to be in my situation, put a lot of thought into what you're doing before you do it. And don't get animals on a whim don't just be like because like I didn't plan any of them out I wanted to get a dog like before we had any dogs I wanted I knew I wanted to get a dog so I was looking for looking for one and within three days we got Zeke and then with Malachi I saw an ad and we went and we got him within like 15 minutes there was no planning for Malachi at all, not even a day, not even an hour. I saw the ad and we went and we got him. Don't suffer the consequences of things that you can control. Because now I have to deal with these dogs that I don't enjoy living with, that I'm allergic to, and the cat. I'm allergic to all of them. And I spend a lot of my time in my room because, well, we don't have a living room, we don't have furniture. Because that's another thing. It's my fault. They they need more attention and stuff. But Shauna would never ever give them away. So I just have to deal with it. And I don't want other people to go through what I'm going through. Is all I'm trying to say. I don't want to end this vlog on a negative note. I just, I just wanted to share how I'm feeling. Some people might hate me for what I'm saying. But I'm just being real. I don't love having my dogs. I love them, but I wish they were somebody else's. So, because we didn't do our full walk, I have to go walk on the spot to get the rest because I don't want to walk alone in the dark. It's just creepy, and I, I, I just don't like it. So, I hope you guys all had a great day, and you can learn from my mistakes. I will see you guys tomorrow.